There is a powerful event that took place recorded by Luke in Luke 5:17. Jesus was in a house teaching the word. He was in the house and the power of the Lord was present to heal. But nobody got healed, even though the power of God was there. He was there. His power was there, but nobody got anything. Until four men showed up carrying their friend. He was paralyzed. They couldn't get in the house because of the crowd. They got on top of the roof and opened the roof, broke it open, and laid down their friend in front of Jesus. And when Jesus saw their faith, he raised that man up. And I want you to know, first of all, that he's in the house and his power is present to touch, to move, to heal. But the power, the presence of God is looking for somebody that could be a recipient, somebody with faith and expectancy. There was none of that there until these men showed up with their friend. Jesus saw their faith. They didn't say a word. Their actions were displaying their faith and he saw it. Their faith could be seen. It was visible. Faith without works or action is dead. But they did something to demonstrate their faith. And it was radical. They broke open the roof. Some of you need to do something radical and express your faith. And not just say, I believe, but do something as an act of faith. And when Jesus saw that, he immediately responded to the man and he spoke to the man. He spoke to his position first. Son, your sins are forgiven you. And then he dealt with his condition. Many times we want the Lord to deal with our condition, but first we need to get to that place where he restores us, heals us, and, uh, and delivers us, where we are at a place where we can receive the power of God to transform our situation. First, it needs to be within us before we deal with the outward symptoms and issues. And... The Bible says that the religious people around were murmuring, complaining, criticizing Jesus for doing this. And one would think that that would stop Jesus from going to that next step of doing a miracle because it's a hostile atmosphere now. They're murmuring, criticizing him, coming against him. And the man's just lying there. And one could think that he might have thought, I wish these people would keep quiet because they're going to stop Jesus from doing a miracle for me. But you know what? The opposition fueled this miracle. Jesus actually got up and said, because of this question and this murmur in your heart, this murmuring, I'm going to do this miracle to demonstrate to you that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. And he gets up and he does the miracle. The opposition fueled his miracle. I want to say to you, the opposition, the circumstances that you're facing, everything coming against you, it's fueling your miracle. And the man was raised up. I want you to know that just before you get to your breakthrough, your miracle, there might be opposition. When you're closest to it, you might find that there's no way to access it. That's the time to go beyond, go above and beyond, go on top of the roof, broke and, and break open the roof and get into the presence of God. This man received his healing and Jesus said, pick up your bed and walk. Don't leave your bed behind. That which has carried you, you now carry it. And let it be a testimony, a demonstration of the power of God. Friends, you don't have to let go of your bed and leave it behind and try and hide it and cover up like you've never been on that bed. The Lord is saying, carry the bed boldly. Let people know and see what God has done for you and give him the glory. I have a feeling the man went home and took his bed and displayed it so that he and everybody else that ever came into that house would remember what the Lord had done. So prophetically, I say to you today, the Lord is in the house. When you're closest to your breakthrough, don't give up. Go a step higher and further. Be radical in your faith. Do something. Act in faith. Move quickly. The power of God is present to do it. And don't let the opposition and the murmuring coming against you stop you. It's fueling your miracle. And don't leave your bed behind. Walk with that testimony. Walk with that, that praise. Walk with that report declaring the power and the goodness of God. So get ready for what God's going to do in your life. Be expectant. 
and let the power and the presence of God that is present, that is flowing, manifest in your life, your home, your mind, your body, in Jesus' name. And right now where you are, right now in your situation, I release and decree and declare that the power of the Lord is present to heal, to restore, to deliver and to help you. In Jesus' name.